Hello and welcome to Digging the Coast 365. Whew. Today we're in par. It's very average. Now this is the first nice beach I've been able to get on for quite a long time now. Uh, lots of sand here. A couple of nice caves behind me there. Um, just met up with James who said he found a gold ring on here at one point so you never know, you never know. It's a very nice spot this, you've got a few people paragliding over there. You've got this, it's like a little natural bit of water which is, oh yeah it goes up there, there's a little streamy thing comes down here and a lovely little pool. If it were all clean and a sunny day it'd be like a blue lagoon. That's quite nice. I think I'll just metal detect around here because I'm sure people hang around here all the time. That's something you don't see every day, a crab eating a shell. And it was eating a shell, it's dead now, I think. Probably because it was eating a shell. A couple of nice caves there. I like caves. Not as good as the caves where I come from though. Well, I just got more excited than I've ever been excited on this trip. That was a signal. And look, can you see that? Gold and round. Gold and round. I got so excited, it's untrue. It's a dog tag for a dog called Treacle. Unbelievable. Chipped and speared. Oh, that'd be a good name for a, a fish and chip shop. Chipped and speared. Not a bad little find though. I'll tell you something, this beach is full of these. Cuttlefish. That's about the seventh I've seen now. And razor shells. Absolutely full of them. Let me just bring you up to date with how Rays of Sunshine is going, how our little charity is doing. Donations since the last video, we've got £20 from Aaron the Voice Guy. Well done, Aaron. £20 from my cousin Dale. Thank you very much, Dale. For Tony Pickering, £10, thank you. Groovy Kevin, $15. Michael Moore, $30. Mick Markey, £50. Mick Markey is given £50 and is asked me to say Helen Pinches I am so looking forward to being married to you on Christmas Eve kiss 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 Ugh, you don't want to get married that's rubbish assured life 20 pounds Jack five dollars Tommy and Deb fifty dollars John Groves five pounds thank you very much everybody our total is now ba 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 £21,303 buzzing. Well done guys. Over £200. Oh and James £20 as well. Um, over £200 in the last 24 hours. Keep the donations coming. Click on the links in the description. Digginthecoast.com and give all your money to charity. Well done guys. So I stayed in uh, Jamaica Inn last night for the first night. I'm not in the haunted room. Um, it was actually a very, very cosy room. Something did happen this morning though. There was like a bell noise. Um, but it was like seven o'clock in the morning. It won't have been a ghost, but it sounded like it was in my room, like a bell, just a one chime. It was really weird. Um, but yeah, Jamaica Inn. I've been awake since half past one in the morning I, I just couldn't sleep. I watched the film Jamaica Inn. I watched the Most Haunted uh, Paranormal Investigation at Jamaica Inn. And I watched episode one of Paul Dark, which is based in Charles... Well, all around Cornwall. So I watched some really good stuff. It was it quite uh, entertaining viewing. did make a bit of a prat of myself at reception though this morning because there's a sign on the wall and it says public footpath and an arrow pointing through this door. And I said to reception, I says... Is there a public footpath goes right through the pub? She says, no, it's just a sign which we've put there. That's the kitchen. And I felt a bit stupid. Obviously, there's not a public footpath going through the pub. Um, it was just a, a sign. 
I don't know why they put it there, really. That looked stupid. Look at that jellyfish, a blue jellyfish. That is amazing. You've got to be careful of these because they can sting you, I know. Oh no, it's a ball. Is it a ball? A ball or a bauble. That'll do as a Christmas decoration, won't it? Yeah, that's all right. That's a keeper. I have been down to the beach a couple of times in the last few days. I went to Fowey, Fowey, I don't know how you pronounce it. Fowey. Uh, just nothing worth filming, really. Bit of art. I'm just looking in this art shop window. And some of these are really clever. You've got a piece of driftwood there, which someone's painted on. That's lovely. Driftwood frame. And that's all made out of glass. And then over here, they've used bits off the beach in the painting. And that is a pretty impressive painting, if you do art. But, you know, I don't, I don't really do it. And then yesterday I was in Charlestown. A nice ship there, which, uh, that's about it really. At the moment I'm in a place called Charles Town and it's very well known as being a place where they do a lot of film settings and TV program settings. There's been things here done such as The Eagle Has Landed, uh, The Three Musketeers, Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp, uh, Paul Dark and Doctor Who. So, it's a very well-known place. This ship is called the Phoenix. It's from Denmark. It was built in about 1930, somewhere around then. And it's been here for the last, I don't know, 10-15 years. And they do a lot of settings here because it still looks like a Georgian town, which this place is. You know, it's alright. It's alright. Not complaining. But it is just a ship in a place called Charlestown. There's nothing here which is really exciting me. So I have been getting out and I've been trying to film stuff, but just nothing to film. Right, I'm calling that a day for the beach. I'm not finding anything. I think we had this massive storm. It must be about three weeks ago now. But I think it's just, on a lot of beaches, it's just pushed up a load of sand onto the beaches. There's hardly any signals here. Very, very few. Um, I'm going to have to try and find something else to do to give you some kind of excitement today in this video. I just asked a local what these little cottages are because they're beautiful. They're all very symmetrical and I thought there might be tin mining cottages from, for the tin miners. Um, because this is a tin mining place. We're still in par by the way. Um, but no, apparently they were built by the church for they were like poor people's houses um, so you know they used to throw people in there who had no money and nowadays they cost an absolute fortune <laughs> to, to buy one of them someone tell me what colour that van is come on someone must know I don't even think the driver knows it's absolutely disgusting the funny thing is it says on the back I wish I was as dirty as, and I can't read the name, but that, that van, believe it or not, that van is this year's van. It's a brand new van, and look at the state of it. Unbelievable. This is all I can offer you, but it will get better. Got to keep uh, smiling, haven't you? Keep smiling. And just keep plodding on and uh, things will get better. I'll see you in tomorrow night's video on Digging the Coast. Three, six, five. Have a lovely evening. Mwah. If you'd like to donate to Rays of Sunshine, simply click the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.